This year marks the 25th anniversary of the, one of the most historic plays in college football, Cal Stanford, 1982. There were nine laterals, six fumbles, 300 people on the field, and one casualty, Gary Terrell, the trombone player from the 1982 class in the band. But, but for instance, if you can imagine you're doing a, a big business presentation or something like that, and in the process, you split your pants, you know, and someone has a videotape of it. Uh, it gets out, you know, so it's an embarrassing moment at the time. Um, but then someone reminds you about it every month for the next 25 years. Uh, sooner rather than later, you're going to develop a sense of humor about the situation. There were four seconds left on the clock mm -hmm. uh, for, uh, at the time of the kickoff. The Stanford band was just celebrating. We were playing all right now, facing the stands. Uh, you know, I turned around to check out the action on the field. Once I saw the clock run down to zero, I saw all kinds of folks running onto the field from both teams, both bands, the people with the axe, the, the trophy of the big game were probably out on the 15. Um, but we were still playing a song. So I looked for the drum major and then turned around one more time. And that's when, just before getting knocked over, I saw this, this guy in the end zone with the football. In, uh, in the, at the pregame of the 1983 big game, the Stanford band took blame for all, all kinds of, of uh, historical uh, uh, downfalls. The fall of Rome, uh, the San Andreas Fault, the existence of the University of California. <laughs> but they said one thing that the band will not take blame for. And then for the halftime, they said we will not take blame for losing the 1982 big game. That was Gary's fault. And uh, as a, a, a final send-up, they did a reenactment, sort of a reenactment, of the Cal football return. But right before they, um, they reached uh, me, I uh, leapt from the wheelchair, impaled the football player with my trombone, got the football, and ran it back for a touchdown. And that was about the most fun I've had on a football field.